Hi and welcome to this week's web design video blog. Nick's away today so my colleague Lucy has joined me to show you how to create an Apple Touch icon for your website. Firstly though, if you're wondering what an Apple Touch icon is, let me show you. So with the iPhone, the iPad and the iPod Touch, on Safari you have the ability to bookmark web pages and even add a link um, onto your home screen. So if we go to play.com and we add to home screen, you'll see by default the icon is just a small screenshot of the website. However, if you specify an Apple Touch icon like we have on Create Design, if we add to the home screen on our web page, you'll see that the uh, screenshot is replaced by the icon that we have designed. OK, so as you can now see, the icon is on our home screen. If we now click that, it will take us directly to the Create website. Taking into consideration that iPhones and iPads are becoming increasingly popular, it's definitely worth taking 20 minutes to design and embed an Apple Touch icon for your website. So we've created a simple icon for the Create Design website, and we've just made a file that's uh, 72 dpi RGB. It's 129 by 129, which makes it great for iPhone 4s and also backwards compatible with all other Apple Touch devices. So all we need to do with this icon once we've designed it is just go to File, Save for Web, and we need you to save it as a high quality PNG. So we can just change the uh, preset to PNG24. And we then want to save this graphic onto the root layer of our web directory. And you want to call it apple-touch-icon.png. Now the uh, Apple Touch devices like the iPhone, the iPad, and the uh, iPod, will in, with, this, with their Safari program, they will automatically look for this icon on the root layer of your website. So there's no more embedding that you need to do for that to work automatically. However, if you would rather have it in an images folder, you can simply put this code in into your head tag and specify the URL in the href tag. Thank you for watching this week. Please leave your comments on our supporting blog post.